Good everyone, welcome back once again to my channel. Great check on the second this is Jerry. And uh, today, how are you guys? Actually, um, it has been a while since uh, we stopped making videos, especially for the series that we had preparing for the end times. And uh, I um, had many things that I need to do for my job and uh, of course, for my personal uh, life so I stopped the uh, series for a while and praise the Lord we have this video once again for the continuation of the series preparing for the day and times and uh, if you still remember guys um, if you want to talk about preparing for the end times Daniel the book of Daniel the Bible is the source of all how to prepare for the end times what would happen in the end times and what we are heading now and um the 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 book the bible is the only source that we could rely on if you want to know what lies ahead what would be next what is going to be happening in the future so um particularly there are twin there are books, uh, twin books, Daniel and Revelation, that really convey the message that we could rely on, that we can have how and what will happen next. The book of Daniel and the book of Revelation are the books that really um, uh, give the real information of what will happen in the future. Even in the past guys because um, the book of Daniel is a book a history book and also it's uh, a book that convey what will happen next because these books Daniel and Revelations the Revelation are uh, focusing on the um, future events actually because um, uh, it, Daniel was written in the past uh, 6th century BC and uh, Revelation was written in 180, so there are the there are already uh, prophecies that have been fulfilled, and uh, same, of course, there are also many prophecies that have not yet yet been fulfilled. If you still remember, friends, um, the book of Daniel, as we have this first. We have to learn first the book of Daniel before we can move on with the book of uh, Revelation. Since um, these uh, books are twins, they go hand in hand. There are prophecies in the book of Daniel that you cannot understand unless the book of Revelation um, tells because it's connected with one another. There are many things that uh, there are many prophecies, many uh, passages in the book of Daniel that uh, connects to um, the book of Revelation. So if you still remember, um, since this is a review, we have to review first. Um, before studying every chapter in the book of Daniel, we should learn about some principles that will help us to better understand its message. <clears throat> so we have done talking about this, uh, the center of the book of Daniel is Jesus, of course. Jesus said in John cha chapter 5 verse 39, You search the scripture, for in them you think you have eternal life. And these are they which testify of me. Of course, um, in every chapter, in every chapter of the book of Daniel, it centers on Jesus. And uh, it also has a literary structure. We are done with that. And the difference with other prophecies, the time scale, and the practical relevance so even though it's uh, history books it is written in the past but this uh, application it's uh, still relevant to our time so here so as what I said that Jesus said you search the scripture for in them you think you have eternal life and these are they which testify of me then the Daniel book or uh, the book of Daniel Jesus is somehow reference in every section of this book. We will study, we'll start with if we 
can see in chapter 1, similarly to Daniel's story, Jesus left heaven to live on earth and received wisdom from above. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. So even in chapter 1, it is already something that refers to Jesus. Like Daniel and his friends, they left Jerusalem just like uh, Jesus. He left heaven just to live on this earth. In chapter 2, Jesus' kingdom will replace all other kingdoms. Uh, we will study this one. This is really wonderful, guys. This is really good uh, um, uh, prophecy, a good chapter, guys, because um, it really conveys, it, 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 it has a message. It is prophesying about the past. Of course, we, um, because it was a dream, but it's uh, going to be for not only for the time of Babylonian empire, but also for the end times, end times until Jesus comes when he will uh, replace all other kingdoms. In chapter 3, um, friends, Jesus walked with his friends in the fiery furnace. When, uh, when Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were um, thrown into the fiery, fiery furnace, um, Jesus was with them. When um, King Nebuchadnezzar uh, saw the three young Hebrews, he also saw a sign of man. So uh, that was Jesus. And chapter 4, Jesus took Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom from him for some time so he would understand that he reigns over all kingdoms. So still, Jesus was a uh, reference in that book, is reference in that as a book, in that chapter. And uh, in chapter 5, the trial and death of Belshazzar and the fall of Babylon reflects Jesus' victory at the end times. Chapter 6, the plot against Daniel is similar to the priest and Pharisees' plot against Jesus. So um, it's uh, almost uh, somehow reference, reference uh, refers to Jesus. Chapter 7, it tells how Jesus, the son of man, receives the kingdom and reigns over all his people. In chapter 8, it introduces Jesus as the high priest in the heavenly sanctuary. Wow, this is really wonderful, guys. We have to study Daniel because in here we will uh, learn all the truth about especially what is doing or Jesus, what Jesus is doing in this time in the heavenly sanctuary. And of course, chapter 9, Jesus is the sacrifice in the new covenant between God and his people. A very wonderful, powerful prophecy, chapter 9 of Daniel. Chapter 10 to chapter 12, Jesus is the commander-in-chief who fights against the forces of evil and rescues his people. So, all the chapters in every section of the book of Daniel, it is referring to Jesus. So when Jesus said, you search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life. And these are they that testify of me. Even the book of Daniel, we could see Jesus. Even the book of Daniel, we could see how he does how he did what he did in the, the past. Even his people was in slavery in the empire, greatest empire in their time, in the, um, the Babylonian empire. But still Jesus is um, with them. Jesus is not, or Jesus doesn't leave his people even in their worst uh, experiences that he allowed them to experience because of their sins but still god does not leave he still cares for his people all right guys until here so uh, we have to remember that the in every section in every part in every book of the bible from genesis to revelation still when jesus said that you search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life and these are they that testify of me and 
even in the book of Daniel, in every chapter, Jesus is somehow referenced to that book. So uh, what we are uh, talking this time, what we are studying this time, is we are only yet um, having an overview of what we will be studying. So we will study one by one every chapter um, of the book of Daniel until we come up with all this uh, long series of the preparing for the end times. So stay tuned, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now and keep on following in this series because this is breathtaking, guys. We have to remember that we are in the last days now. We have to remember that we have to prepare for this uh, end times. We have to prepare for what lies ahead. What we need to, uh, to know, we need to understand the prophecies and the only prophecies or prophecy books that we have to study or the book that we have to study is the Bible because that is the only source of the truth, the only source of what we want to know in the future. So guys, friends, keep on watching, keep on following the series. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. May the Lord Jesus bless us all. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.